h4 Okay, but that's very good, Salman. Thank you so very much. Okay, now let's start the uh, lesson. But today we are going to learn about about clauses because our today's is the defining versus defining versus non-defining relative clauses. Okay, just only one question was in, uh, remaining behind, and. Uh, Let's see on the page number, page number 24. So uh, when we see in the beginning of the lesson, there is written use of English, non-defining and defining relative clauses, okay? All the questions already we have done, but just only this question was remaining, uh, remaining behind. Non-defining and defining relative clauses. First of all, we'll have to see and we'll have to uh, understand what are clause, what are clauses, okay? Okay, G. <clears throat> so, see, beta. First of all, let's see what is a clause, right? When we would uh, uh, learn about uh, a clause, or when uh, we will have learned about a clause then I think we will be able to understand what is defining and what is uh, non-defining uh, relative clauses uh, nicely okay right Peter what is a clause clause is a group of words clauses a group of words that forms Listen carefully, clause is a group of words that forms a part of sentence and has a subject and a predicate of its own. Okay? Perhaps you cannot see that on your uh, uh, screen, please, because I was uh, trying to send these uh, slides to T-shirt to share with you, but uh, 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 my net service was not supporting me, so first you will have to listen now only. Okay? Aap beta achhi tarah se sun lenge, achhi tarah se isko samaj lenge, to mere khayal mein ye aap ke liye kafi hooga. Par haal ek caption jo hai, wo aapke saamne hai, that's defining versus non-defining relative clauses. Ye to aapke saamne rahega, magar mein jo aap se baat kar raha hoon, isko aap achhi tarah se sun lenge. Thik hai? So once again, let me tell you the definition of that. Such a group of words that forms a part of sentence and it ye kisi page per to have wap ko name lega sif ap ko ye uh may apni taraf se up to yet pain karong such a pele ki clause kya hai or ski bat ki me up ko defining versus non-defining ki taraf hunger. So, this is our question in this lesson. Ke shuru mein, okay? Where is that is written? Use of English. Okay, that is written non defining and defining. Okay, beta, clear that? Okay. So, uh, a group of words that forms a part of sentence and has a subject and a predicate of its own is called a clause. Predicate. Do you know predicate? Okay. How many parts are there of a sentence? Two. One is subject and other is predicate. Mean verb plus subject. These two, uh, uh, what do you say? Uh, these two segments uh, form one part that is called your predicate. Okay. So there are some kinds of clauses that I'm going to share with you. If you have understood the definition of a clause, okay, then let's move forward. Peter, there are some kinds of clauses, like uh, adjective clause, like uh, noun clause, like adverb clause. 
okay but first of all i would tell you uh, about adjective clause okay so what is an adjective clause an adjective clause is introduced by a relative pronoun <coughs> relative pronoun mean adjective clause aaj main urdu mein thoda thoda aapke saath share karunga taki aapko achhi tarah se iski samajh aa jaye what is adjective clause an adjective clause is introduced by a relative pronoun yani ek adjective clause jo hai wo relative pronoun se shuru hoti hai okay और आपके रिलेटिव प्रोनाउंस कौन कौन से हैं दोजार दैट विच वंस अगेन रिलेटिव प्रोनाउन बेटा मस्ट यू वुड रिमेंबर देम मस्ट यू वुड कीप इन योर माइंड ओके डोंट लेट देम स्किप फ्रॉम योर माइंड दिस आर वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट ओके याद रखना बहुत जरूरी है रिलेटिव प्रोनाउन कौन कौन से हैं that which who whom who very easy just only five that which who whom who so once again adjective clause an adjective clause is introduced by a relative pronoun okay like uh, let, let me give you an example of that he is the man he is the man whom we all respect whom we all respect so the uh, whom we all respect this part is your adjective clause he is the man whom we all respect ye wo aadmi hai jiski hum sab izzat karte hain respect karte hain so yahan ka uh, is sentence ye jo dusra hissa hai iska whom we all respect that is your adjective clause is that clear because it is going to be started it's going to uh is going to begin with a relative pronoun whom we all respect is that clear a uh, ek aur example le le for example uh the reason why i did it is obvious the reason why i did it is obvious ki wo wajah jiski wajah se maine ye kaam kiya is obvious okay ye wazeh hai so आप इसके इसमें से ये ये जो है ना वाई आई डिड इट ये आपका आपका एजेक्टिव क्लॉज होगा ओके द रीजन वाई आई डिड इट इज ऑब्वियस ओके बेटा मे आई सी योर एस एम एस इफ इट इज क्लियर टू यू मैं आपको जरा स्टार्ट से लेके चला हूँ फिर पहले क्लॉज क्या है क्लॉज की आगे पॉइंट्स भी आपको बता दूँ और फिर हम डिफाइनिंग एंड नॉन डिफाइनिंग की तरफ आएंगे ताकि आप उसको अच्छी तरह से समझ सकें ओके राइट बेटा मनीषा इट्स ओके आंसर और इट्स ऑल क्लियर दैट्स ओके बेटा सो एडजेक्टिव इफ एडजेक्टिव इज क्लियर एडजेक्टिव क्लॉज इज क्लियर देन आई विल टेल यू अबाउट नाउन क्लॉज नाउन क्लॉज बेटा नाउन क्लॉज इट सर्व्स एज अ सब्जेक्ट एंड ऑब्जेक्ट इट सर्व्स एज अ सब्जेक्ट एंड ऑब्जेक्ट okay now my voice should be very clear to you okay beta right noun clause it serves as a subject and is okay beta right thank you noun clause serves as a subject and object ye subject ke taur par bhi or object ki taur par bhi you know in a sentence there is one subject and the other is object okay sub ek sentence mein subject bhi hota hai wo kaam karta hai aur object bhi hota hai jiske upar kaam kiya jata hai action kiya jata hai okay so it can serve as a subject and object and my date it begins with it begins with these are very important things that you are going to learn now okay listen carefully and keep all these words in your mind begins with how what whatever when where 
which who whom whoever whose and why okay noun clause begins with how what whatever when where which who whom whoever whose why all are starting with w except how so once again for the third time i'm going to revise for you how what whatever when where which who whom whoever whose and why okay beta this is the identity of noun clause let's have an example of that so that we may understand it perfectly i expect that i shall get a prize example is i expect that i shall get a prize so this part that i shall get a prize it is your noun clause okay see it is going going to begin with that that also comes in there perhaps i have uh, forgot to write here uh i expect that you escaped injury amazed me it is it is surprise how you did it okay is that clear beta okay if that is clear please send me your sms next adverb clause okay right beta adverb clause the third is adverb clause actual which beta okay first let me clear it please adverb clause adverb clause beta modifies a verb modifies a verb an adjective or an adverb in the main clause listen carefully modifies a verb an adjective or an adverb in the main clause it begins with the subordinating conjunction it begins with a subordinating conjunction such as what are the subordinating conjunction after although because if since when where once again an adverb clause begins with the subordinating conjunction like after although because if since when and where for example father called me when he arrived home father called me when he arrived home so when he arrived home because uh, 
uh, this part is going uh, 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 is uh, going to start with when so this part is your adverb clause when he arrived home in this sentence this part that is starting with the word when that is actually your subordinating conjunction when he arrived home so when he arrived home is your adverb clause i have not been well since i have returned from murray i have not been well since i have returned from murray so since i have returned from murray it is your adverb clause my dear students uh, adverb clauses are uh, of uh, many kinds and may be uh, classified as uh, adverb clauses of uh, time place pur uh, purpose causes condition result comparison concession right so uh, uh i'll i'll try to tell you okay an example of that once again adverb clauses can be classified in in other as uh, adverb clauses of time let me see beta so that perhaps i may give you an example of that okay these examples were of uh, adverb clause so adverb clauses can be classified in some other uh, clauses of uh, time place purpose causes condition result mean adverb clause of time adverb clause of place adverb clause of purpose cause condition like this okay uh, i think yes we are having some time so i would tell you suppose first of all uh, for example i would tell you an example of uh, adverb of condition okay example just only examples i'm not going to explain here just uh, i'm giving an example of that but i told you as condition so like uh, even if they hurry they may not get there on time so even if they hurry it is the example of adverb of condition bas zara jaldi jaldi se aap sirf example ko sunte jaiye taki main aage badh saku okay like uh, the player is out of the match because he has hurt himself so because he has hurt himself if this is type of clause, uh, clause comes before you that is the adverb of adverb clause of reason if she recovers quickly she will join the team if she recovers quickly this is adverb of condition so if she recovers quickly this uh, this clause is your adverb of condition the speaker was so absorbed in his speech that he forgot the time so beta here is uh, that he forgot the time if this is the adverb clause of result she switched on the television on that she could listen to the news so that she could listen to the news is the example of adverb of purpose they left before the concert ended so here it is before the concert ended this is the example of adverb clause of time he acted as if he owned the car so if he owned the car is adverb of manner so here were some examples of uh, uh, these adverb uh, clause of time place purpose causes condition uh, just uh, i gave you uh, some examples of them 
uh, just for your information. Okay, if we will be having uh, some extra time, must I explain them? But uh, some on other day. Okay. Is that clear, Vita? Whatever I told you. Now the C here, defining versus non-defining relative clauses. Defining versus non-defining relative clauses, <clears throat> which is our today's main lesson, according to our book that is on page number 24. Let's see better what is a defining relative clause. After understanding clause, clause and the types of clauses. Now it, it will be very easy for us to understand. Okay, defining versus non-defining. So defining relative clause. Better it gives necessary information. It gives necessary information that is essential to distinguish which thing or person we are talking about. Usually defining a relative clause hai, <clears throat> ye darsal hume kisi ek khas shaks ke baare mein, kisi cheez ke baare mein, agar hum baat kare, to uske hawale se ye humari help karti hai, okay? Mean it gives necessary information essential to distinguish which thing or person we are talking about. Wo kaun si ek cheez or ek shaks hai iske baare mein hum khas taur par baat kar rahe hai. Okay? Ye ek iski number one quality. Also you can see on screen, right? Number two. Better defining the relative clause may. No commas are used. We do not use commas in the sentence. Hum, uh, is clause may hum kahi bhi koi comma istamal nahi karte. We do not use commas in the sentence. For example, <clears throat> I called my brother who lives in Canada. I called my brother who lives in Canada. It means I have more than one brother, but I called the one who lives in Canada. और भी भाई है मगर मैं उस भाई की बात कर रहा हूं उसको उसको मैंने बुलाया जो कनाडा में रहता है ठीक है यू कैन सी इन द एग्जांपल दैट नो कॉमा हैज बीन यूज्ड इन इट राइट नंबर 3 यूज ऑफ दैट वी कैन यूज दैट इंस्टेड ऑफ हु और व्हिच दीस आर रिलेटिव प्रोनाउंस बेटा uh, who, which, and that. Teen relatives uh, pronouns. May I put in Kazara Thura Istamal Batadu? Who has or per ye use kia jata humans kili, right? Which that is used for non living things. Okay? Or ek head that. That is a relative pronoun that is friendly. That is uh, uh, a common relative pronoun, and it can be used in place of who or which. Yani who or that dono ki jaga par jo hai, uh, who or which ki jaga par that istamal kiya ja sakta hai. Samajari hai. Okay, we can use that instead of who or which. For example, he is, uh, sorry, that is the mug which I bought in Australia. But you can use that in place of which. This is the mug that I bought in Australia. This is the mug which I bought in Australia. This is the mug that I bought in Australia. <clears throat> I didn't know the man who was there in party. I didn't know the man who was there in party, but you can use that in place of who. I didn't know the man that was there in party. 
तो यूज ऑफ सेट के बारे में मैं आपको बता रहा था कि डिफाइनिंग रिलेटिव क्लॉज में आप दैट इस्तेमाल कर सकते हैं हु और विच की जगह पर नंबर फोर रिलेटिव प्रोनाउन दो सर एक्चुअली दैट विच हुम हुज कैन बी उमिटेड आप डिफाइनिंग रिलेटिव क्लॉज में आप इनको उमिट भी कर सकते हैं मगर किस uh, किस वक्त आप इनको मिट कर सकते हैं वी कैन उमिट हु विच दैट वेन दे आर फॉलोड बाई सब्जेक्ट प्लस वर्ब वेन दोज आर बींग फॉलोड बाई सब्जेक्ट प्लस वर्ब एग्जाम्पल देखिए डू यू लाइक द सॉन्ग डू यू लाइक द सॉन्ग विच आई सेंग ओके और दैट आई सेंग मगर आप विच और दैट को इमिट करके आप uh, क्या कर सकते हैं डू यू लाइक द सॉन्ग डू यू लाइक द सॉन्ग आई सेंग डू यू लाइक द सॉन्ग आई सेंग ओके सो इट वुड बी योर डिफाइनिंग रिलेटिव क्लॉज डू यू लाइक द सॉन्ग आई सेंग That is the man who I like or whom I like or that I like, but you can omit who or that. You can write like this: That is the man I like. That is the man I like. So this is your defining relative clause. That is the man. So in in these examples, in these examples. who lives in canada okay or which or that i bought in australia or the song i sang this is the man all these are actually the examples of defining relative clauses just uh, within few seconds because time is going to be over <clears throat> defining relative clause mein aap commas istemal nahi karte डिफाइनिंग रिलेटिव क्लॉज आपको किसी एक शख्स के बारे में खुशी तौर पर आपको इंफॉर्मेशन देती है नंबर थ्री आप हु विच की जगह पर दैट इस्तेमाल कर सकते हैं ओके okay? और अगर सब्जेक्ट और वर्ब जो है हु विच दैट इफ दो आर बींग फॉलोड बाई सब्जेक्ट एंड वर्ब दैट टाइम एट दैट टाइम आप इन रिलेटिव प्रोनाउंस को ओमिट कर सकते हैं ओके सो इफ दिस टाइप ऑफ क्लॉसिस आर इन फ्रंट ऑफ यू दो आर योर डिफाइनिंग रिलेटिव क्लॉसिस ओके बेटा सो आई थिंक इट्स अनाफ फॉर द डे नेक्स्ट नॉन